Today we're reviewing Water for Elephants the Musical on Broadway. Water for Elephants is based on a novel written by Sarah Gruen that was released in 2006. It was turned into a movie which came out in 2011. Some of you might have seen it, uh, which stars Reese Witherspoon and Robert Pattinson. The story was then adapted into a Broadway musical in March 2024. Book by Rick Elise and music by Pigpen Theatre Company. The plot revolves around Jacob Jankowski, an elderly man reflecting on his past. Following the tragic loss of his parents in a car accident Aww. in 1931, Jacob embarks on a cross-country journey by train. Along the way, he encounters the Benzini Brothers Circus, where his veterinary skills attract the attention of the ringmaster, August. Jacob joins the circus and forms a bond with Rosie. An elephant acquired by August. Assigned to train Rosie alongside August's wife, Marlena Jacob, falls for her while grappling with August's abusive behavior towards both humans and animals. Yeah, he's not a good guy. So what do we think of the plot? What do you think? I do think the plot was good. It was nice and strong. Um, we did get a few parts of... Where you're seeing his el his uh, memory as he's older isn't as strong as it was for when he was younger. Right. Um, it also gives us a bird's eye view how uh, what circus life is, what's part of being a circus back in the 1930s, right? Yes, it was during the Great the Depression. Depression. Um, and yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, so if you saw the movie, you're probably aware of the plot or read the book. And it also um, is for animal lovers. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a lot of interesting puppet work and costume work, costume slash puppet work within the play that I found very interesting. And of course, there's romance involved too. Let's talk about the cast. So the cast stars Jacob Jankowski. And headlined by Grant Gustin. For those of you who are fans of The Flash and Glee, uh, as you know, he played Sebastian on Glee. And he also played Barry Allen as The Flash. Yes. <laughs> and Marlena slash June is played by Isabel McCalla. Mr. Jankowski, the older version, is Greg Edelman. August, the ringleader, slash Charlie O'Brien, which is one of the younger characters in the newer timeline, um, is played by Paul Alexander Nolan. So, what do you think of the acting? I did like the acting. It was captivating. We were drawn into this um, throughout the whole thing, yeah. All the leads were very strong. Um, even, uh, even Grant Gustin... I've never seen him act or sing live. Uh, his singing was really good. Uh, all the cast were really strong. The leading lady uh, was good as well. Even August. Um, I think August has a strong presence, right? Mm. Well, yeah, he's got to. He's supposed to be holding the entire circus right. in the palm of his hand. And what about older Jacob? Older Jacob was definitely sweet. You could tell he was... He, the character that he was putting on was definitely hurting and missing and and there were these missing pieces. Missing the excitement. Yes, yeah. missing From uh, the excitement of his life. Younger. Right. Like he's, well, I don't want to spoil any of that. If you don't <laughs> yeah, no spoilers for this review, please. <laughs> so, yeah, even the supporting cast, you know, the circus acts, um, they were all good. Um, but then their background, well, not background, now, the focus wasn't much on them, but you still kind of relate to them a yes. bit. Yes. And you kind of feel for them. I enjoyed the, the, grow, the way they used the elephant as well. Oh, yeah. It was a very interesting. That was interesting. It was exciting you'll, to you'll build get up. What I, <laughs> you'll get what I mean when you go see it. 
What do you think of the music? The music. Um, this can be tricky with a lot of musicals out there. Um, only a few really, you know, like stick out. The music was appropriate. Um, there was only one song that I remember, though. Um, uh, <laughs> the, the road won't make you young, something like that. The yes. road won't make. <laughs> so there was a, a hook to it, and it tells about circus performers. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember much of the song, even the love song. Um, there were the the music. It was fitting for the show and the plot. What we didn't get was those hooks that then someone is going to go, you know what, I can hear that song once and I know I want it to be my audition song. I know I want to hear it around my apartment. I want to sing this here. I want to hear it again. Yeah. Um, maybe the the song that opens the second act could be it. But beyond that, this is this succeeded in making the music for the show where a lot of other musicals that have been movies just make songs that are like not plot and not memorable right and the thing is um when you leave the show sometimes you feel like singing the song because you know it already even though you haven't heard it before uh, I mean, with, I, it's understandable. With music, though, it's only usually with repetition. Sometimes, mm -hmm. a lot of the songs that we like is through repetition, or because the artist was so popular and we love the artist. Yeah. Um, so that's the case with the music for water. I for think elephants the strong, the is yep. they're not as strong, but it's related to the plot. Yes. Yes. Now, <laughs> for the exciting part. Would you recommend Water for Elephants, the musical on Broadway? <laughs> hmm. I would recommend going to see Water for Elephants, the musical on Broadway. It's worth the ticket price. Um, you're going to enjoy yourself. Yes, it's very entertaining, uh, especially if you're a big <laughs> fan of The Flash. Grant Gustin, uh, I'm sure it's a must-see for you. But if you're a regular theater goer and you don't really care so much about celebrity, it's still a, a good show to watch. Um, yeah, so I think the New York Times review uh, reviewed it well too. Yes, they liked it. So we do recommend it. It's a thumbs up for me. Thumbs up. Go see Water for Elephants on Broadway. Again, this is Rod. This is Finn. Like, subscribe, share. And we'll see you out there on the interwebs. <laughs> Interweb. Sang Media. Look for us on YouTube if you haven't subscribed already. See ya.